hello everyone this is Ace Mariv today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you the indian portrait or the indian wedding type photography editing so some of my fans requested me those who are from the india and uh, just uh, requested me that uh, please show more wedding photography editing that is the indian wedding photography or indian portrait so that's why i'm just making this video so in this video you are getting the face retouching or skin retouching and color grading dodge in and burning and the presets that is the camera presets and you can download it free of cost so if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first as usual i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and after that just go to the filter and photo toolbox skin finer if you want to know more about the skin finder how to set it up and uh, other stuffs please check out my video description i'll give there the skin finder detail video which is i made uh, from a couple of months ago so here the panel that is the before one this one is showing you and the after one and here two panels three panels actually skin masking skin detail and the skin tone this one and this one is most important and if you work with these two things or these two skin detailing and the skin tone your portrait will be amazing so here at first uh, i'll go to the skin toning just because of if you match the skin tone then you can easily just uh, do the smoothing how smooth will be or the how fine will be so here the hue saturation options at first hue saturation uh, that means the hue will be the color that means what type of color or skin color will be your photography or your model so i'll make it like this and saturation i'll make it a little bit down so you have to adjust the color according to the face color so this one is most important to choosing the perfect color of a face and the brightness so i'll make the brightness a little bit high yeah that's good and the contrast as well so i'll make the contrast plus 10 around plus 10 the shadow i'll increase the shadow yeah that's fine and the highlight as well so then i'll go for the smoothing how smooth will be so this one is enough smooth i think uh, in this photo you are getting some uh, spots uh, dots actually make up dots but here is no dots so i'll increase the amount and fine it a little bit yeah that's pretty good and for after that uh, you have to adjust the light just because of uh, the light will be changed oh yeah if you make it flat like that it won't be the perfect balance just because of a face or portrait is a 3d type face that is the 3d things so you can't make it the 2d looks so you have to control the contrast yeah if you need you can check out the preset i'm just saving this preset here i'll just uh, export this preset so i'm saving this one giving the name indian portrait so and hit ok and here the settings and select the indian portrait and the export it you can save it for your purpose i'm just uh, giving the process so i'm saving this one and how to import this just go to the settings option and import you'll get that file and just open it up so this one is the technique after that press ok our skin smoothing or retouching is done and now we'll go forward for the dodging and burning and after the color correction so let's see the before one and after one yeah we should look closer before one and after yeah after that dodging and burning that is the other name uh, shadow and highlighting here is the shadow portion you are getting and the highlighted portion so lights is coming from the left side and uh, just you are getting the shadow proper shadow and highlighting so if you want to get the shadow and highlight properly and the prominently you have to maintain the dodge and burn process so for that just make copy two things two layers of this copy and this one i will give the name the highlight for h and shadow for and then turn off the s option and just select the h option go to the blending mode 
and make it screen and right press and blending options this one is easy not uh, uh, hard too hard to make it up so here is the slider just slide it down like left to right yeah when you're getting the highlighted portion of your face portrait face just leave it and then press the alter button and click here it will divide and adjust the light yeah and then hit the ok button and then mask it image and apply image and hit the ok button so you are getting like that and now there is option shadow and go to the blending mode make it to the multiply right press blending options and here we'll find out the shadow of the face so we got it and then press the alter button and press the slider it will divide and just move this one so we'll get the shadow portion and hit ok and after that mask it image and apply image and invert this one and hit ok so these two layer i'll make it group and mask it and then again image apply image in this case don't forget to just uncheck the invert so and hit ok let's see the before one and after one yeah shadow highlighting is prominent way you are getting over here so after that now time for the color correction this one is most important just because of um, uh, sometimes uh, we just forget to get the proper color of our photography so for that i'm just making group of this photo and make it march and after that go to the filter and camera filter camera filter and the uh, nick collection those are amazing the camera filter i usually use for the color correction and the basic stuffs and the main are uh, raw color correction that is the google nick collection or nick collection whatever you can tell so from here i'll just go to the tone curve and go to the blue tone curve select here and blue i'll make it blue like that yeah warmy type blue but that is the rich blue and then the green one so i'll make it like that and red portion so i'll make it like this so and from the exposure i'll up the exposure and the highlight this one yeah and give the shadow like that and make it blacks so if you need you can adjust the exposure as well from here i'll little bit down the variance around minus nine and the whites i'll make it a little bit up yeah the contrast as well so let's see the full image yeah that's fine and the highlight we have to just count it out so that's fine from here here is the temperature and tint i'll make the temperature and tint like zero zero and from the camera calibration this one is most important so i'll make it like the minus 23 primary green color i'll make it like plus 15 and uh, plus 18 that's fine so after that go to the hue saturation options from the saturation options i'll make the saturation up of the red and the hue of the red i'll make it like that so and luminance i'll make it down yeah so let's see yeah that's good and here's the red color is prominent that's and the orange color so I'll increase the luminance of orange color and decrease the saturation of orange a little bit yeah that's fine and from the curves uh, and i'll go to the blue tone curve again and work with that yeah that's fine and the shadow i'll increase the shadow yeah that's fine and the effects i'll give some vignette like that yeah there's minus two or three and dehaze this one a little bit for dehazing i'll make the shadow up yeah that's fine let's see the before one yeah before one and after one so you can work with it so after that you can just go to the sharpening option make the sharpening like that and the luminance as well so then just go to the adjustment layer that means the 
basic adjustment and highlight make it like a little bit down that's fine and from the detailing options here is the luminance the color luminance so you have to reduce this one in this portion you got some things like uh, this one like that so those are not good for your photography so here's the color options the luminance of color so you have to reduce this one color detailing yeah you have to make the color detailing like that and luminance of contrast you have to make like that so the highlight you have to make it a little bit down yeah the shadow a little bit up yeah now that's fine so if you need you can change the light exposure a little bit so i'm saving this one and i'll give you that preset for your photography purpose so waiting wd yeah and saving this one and hit ok it will take time to load it up and give you the output let's see the before one and now after one and then the time for the applying the nick collection so go to the filter nick collection and the color effects pro 4 nick collection is another preset you can use this one you if you want to get this one please check out my video description i just given the download link over there and it's loading here from the cross processing panel i'll choose a preset which is totally different and give you the look which is uh, like amazing so rich type look so you have to choose the correct filter which is like uh, this or uh, this one yeah and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the output so not too much highlighted but all the things are prominent and the rich color and everything so make the opacity down yeah i need the previous fillings but not too much so let's see the before one and the after one and now go to the adjustment layer and the solid color and hit ok and make soft light make the blending mode soft light and now choose a filter which is like this yeah this filter yeah it will make your photography more lucrative so yeah that's fine so if you want to get the more sharpness select these three things make it group make it merge so after merging this one make copy of this layer and select the upper layer and blending mode to vivid light and the filter and other and the high pass from the high pass panel i'll give the high pass 0.5 or 0.2 that's fine not too much uh, the pixels of the radius just because of it will be spoiled so before one and after one let's see the full image before one the ordinary image light is good photography is good framing is good but the after editing this one you are getting the extra exposure of the photography that's real cool and um, the posh color the rich color so i think you learn a lot from this video if you did please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye